All right there, boys and girls. Here we are, day 18 already. Whew, 18, 19, three days, two more after today. All right, number one, it's time for P.E. What time is it? Well, what time do we go to P.E.? It's different than this one, but we're going to go by this clock, okay? So first, let's look at the hours. I see the hour hand is between the 10 and the 11. Okay, so that means it's going to be 10 something. Can't be 11 before it's 10, you know what I mean? So 10 what? Well, straight down is 30, so again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it is 10, 40. Now, a.m. or p.m.? It has to be a.m. for that one, right? Uh, 10, 40 p.m., we'd be in bed sleeping because it's nighttime, okay? Number two, P.E. lasts for 30 minutes. What time will P.E. class end? Well, we can add 30 to 40, and we could say, well, uh, 30 plus 40 is 70, right? So 1070, but 1070 doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's just easier counting to 30 by fives, right? So we're going to start here, and let's just count 30 minutes. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now, it's not going to be 10 o'clock anymore because we cross over the hour. The minute hand goes from here and it wraps up and around, and now we're pointing over here. So if it crosses the 12, we go to that next hour. So it's going to be 11, and we're pointing over here, so 5, 10, 11, 10. And that is still AM. Okay, number three. Finn has 100 gold coins. He gives 35 coins to Stumpy and 25 coin, 24 coins to Patty. How many coins does he have left? Okay, so let's go this way. Let's go uh, 100 minus 35. Okay, we cannot do 0 minus 5 here, right? We have to mourn the floor, so we borrow from next door. Oh, there's nothing there. So uh, we have to go next door again, okay? And then we'd put it, we'd make the 1 100 into 10 tens. Same thing, right? Uh, now we have 100 minus 35 still. Uh, we still cannot do that. So we have to borrow from that 10 in the tens, and we're going to make that 9 in the tens column with a 10 in the ones column. Now we can do 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. That's not our answer, though, is it? No, 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 no. Now we have to still take 65 minus 24. Remember, he gave coins to two different people. Uh, now, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So how many coins? So how many? Next word we circle, coins? 41 coins. Now, you may have just done it like this. You may have said uh, 35 plus 24. And we're going to add those two together, okay? We're going to combine everything he gave away. So 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5, okay? Then let's take it up, uh, away from the 100. Again, we have to borrow. Borrow again. All right, 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 5 is 4. I still get the same answer because I did my math correctly. Uh, hopefully you did too. And if not, we're learning. That's what we do here. Number four. Use these digits to make four numbers that are greater than 50 but less than 100. Okay, well, let's go uh, 62. That is greater than 50, but less than 100. We can go 53, 84, and 93. There we go. So I have four numbers. They're greater than 50, but less than 100. So they're all two-digit numbers. Uh, number five. Oh, add the four numbers. Okay, well, let's just do it right here. Um, well, 2 plus 3 is 5. How about 3? I'm looking for combinations. How about 3 plus 3 is 6? Plus 4 is 10? 
and two more is 12. Again, I combine my threes to give me a six because six plus four is 10. Two more is 12. Now let's see here. I have six plus five is 11 and nine more is 20. Plus the eight is 28. And don't forget my one up there, 29. So my sum for those four numbers is 292. Again, two plus three is five, four more is nine, and three more is 12. One plus six is seven, and five is 12, and eight is 20, and nine is 29. That is it for me. You're, you're probably gonna have different uh, answers to these, uh, so just double check and make sure you're doing them right, okay? All right, we'll see you tomorrow for day number 19.